having your teammate on the same page with you. We're gonna call this the million dollar focus. We're already mobbing over it at the meerkat thing. Let me set this up, get you guys a good view. Hello from North France, awesome. Yeah, it's yellow, right? Now it's not. So let me just try something, okay? Hang on a second. Is that better? Or is it a little dark? It's a little dark now, isn't it? Um, mm. Already got some haters here. Love that. Gotta love the haters, dog. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking any wine. I'm just ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Okay, look, I wanna talk to you tonight. As you know, if you've been tuning in, my goal is I try to make, uh, I try to help people out. Uh, I know the schools aren't, your mom and dad don't know how. And uh, the, uh, the uh, textbooks aren't giving you the information, the government's lying to you. So I wanna show you how to, how to do it from zero. If you're at zero, if you already got a start in the right direction, good. I wanna, I wanna throw some fuel in your tank and see what I can do to help make take this thing over the line. Who wants to get rich, huh? Who wants to get real, real rich? <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, okay? Um, so look, I wanna get rich in every way in life. With my family, um, with my, uh, my community, my church. I want to get rich in every way, not just money, but I want my physical condition to be good. Just to just to set the stage here, so everybody knows what we're talking about. Um, I, I, I want to have time. I want to have tremendous amounts of time uh, that I can use the way I want to use it. I know you guys want that too. So, how do you get that? How do you go from where you're at right now? First thing is if you if you are distracted by a million things, and, and I mean just look, you can you can watch threads, watch threads, watch people, watch TV, watch ra listen to radio, okay? Listen to some of the, the 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 things that are happening every day. Listen to what your friends are saying. I just wrote an article on LinkedIn about um, twelve things you can ask your friends. You know, uh, I think it was Jim Rohn who said. Uh, Show me the five people closest to you and I'll show you your net worth. Something like that. And I said, okay, that's good, man. Jim, that's awesome to know that, right? Now, now I want to know this. How, how do I do a better job of picking those people? So there's an article I wrote on LinkedIn. Let me just see if I can pull up the, the title of it. Quick. Uh, the name of it is Quick Q&A to pick your five closest friends on LinkedIn. It's free, I mean, you go there and get it, it's free, it costs you nothing to get it, right? So, why do I write that article? I write that article because I want to help people. I'm here, I'm here every night, because I want to help people. So, I basically picked it up where Jim Rohn left off, which was, dude, how do you pick these people? The people you're sleeping with, the people you're hanging with, the people that you're friends with on Facebook, even the people you're friends with on Facebook. Who's your group? Who's your network? If you look at what really, really, really successful people, they've done unbelievable, unbelievable at um, surrounding themselves with intelligent people. I, I don't just mean smart people, book smart people, but I mean people that knew something more than they knew. And there's a bunch of guys out there that have done that so much better than I have. I waited way too long to collaborate with other people. So tonight is really about that. It's about million dollar focus. Uh, I, a lady wrote me today. She's like, you know what? I don't get out of bed anymore if I don't have a $10,000 day. If there's not going to be 10 grand on the table today, she's like, I'm not getting out of bed anymore. She's like, I've completely changed the way I think about getting up in the morning.
And I'm like, dude, that's freaking awesome. Because there's a lot of days I go to work and I don't make 10K. But there's never a day that I'm not going to work where I'm not thinking about how to drop a hammer. So maybe today's not a payday, but tomorrow, next week, next month, a year from now is going to be a freaking payday. Sooner or later, I'm going to hit pay dirt. Now, people hate this freaking money topic, okay? People that have given up, you know who hates it? People that have given up on getting rich. The people that have decided I am not going to get rich in this lifetime are making sense now of not getting rich. There's a lady that I know extremely well. She was 50 years old. Uh, this is about 15 years ago. And I'm like, dude, look, I'm, I'm going to show you how to become a millionaire. You know, but you, when, you, when your retirement kicks in and the Social Security's there or not there, because she was really worried about, um, she was really worried about, this guy's telling me not to smoke. <laughs> yeah, sure, dude. Okay, that's what you're going to give advice on, what not to do, what a punk. So she was telling me, she's like, man, I'm worried about Social Security, I'm worried about unemployment, I'm worried about the programs, you know. I mean, I, she did all, made all the right moves, did everything, got educated, had a good job, saved her money, did everything. And she's like, I'm worried that the programs aren't going to be, uh, be there for me. And I'm like, dude, you got a plan that they're not. I said, look, let's get busy making you a millionaire in the next 15 years. Today, she's worth about a million and a half dollars. And with income coming in every month. Every month, her income comes in, okay? Income that she doesn't have to go out and bang and work for. So tonight on a Sunday night, uh, notice what I'm looking at, you guys on Meerkat. Can you see this page? I've been through three markets tonight of just real estate. I'm looking at deals. I'm looking for deals. I'm trying to find deals. You guys at Mir 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 uh, Pierce. Periscope might not be able to see this, but all I'm doing is looking for deals, okay? If I'm not working on this, and this is after I spent a bunch of time with my family today, did a movie with my wife for Mother's Day, got up, made, made my wife with the two kids. Um, here, I'll show you guys at per, uh, Periscope what I was looking at on Mirror Chat. Um, I got up this morning, 6 o'clock, told the two little girls to come wake me up. And then we were gonna make mama breakfast in bed. Made a bunch of uh, Cinnabons, garbage food. Packed it with a bunch of freaking ice, you know, extra cheese stuff. Cause I wanna, I wanna have the, if I'm gonna do it, baby, I'm gonna go, go get it, right? So spent that time with my wife. Then I took my wife to a movie. Then we went and had lunch. Then we came home, went for a swim with the kids. And the rest of the day I've been spending on bank and cake, okay? I've been spending time on how do I create my net worth? How do I create financial freedom for myself and my family, my, my, my community? How can I get myself in a financial position where I can either give that to people that I don't want to do business with, okay? Look, there's seven billion people on this planet. I could block everybody and go, and go replace everybody. Most of you guys are awesome. So, how do you how do you stay focused every day? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to do an inventory on the people you're hanging out with. Who who are your friends? Who are the people you're hanging with? You know, what are you reading? Somebody somebody posted earlier. Hey man, you can tell a man by his library. I can tell a man by a lot of things. His library, his language, his thoughts, his ideas. How do you feel about rich people? How do you feel about money? Uh, just start asking people questions, man. Ask them. How do you feel about patience? Oh, I think patience is a virtue. Dude, patience isn't a virtue. Patience is ridiculous. It's, a dumb, it's one of the dumbest things I've ever, ever heard. Uh, D. Carter says, making money is the best addiction to have. Okay, I don't know that making money is the best addiction I have, but I do know this, you know, I want money so that I can do good things. Look what Bill Gates is going to do with his money or Warren Buffett. They're doing unbelievable things. Look at how many people they hired, how many people they gave jobs to and opportunities. The guys at Google, look how many people they made rich that will, will or Steve Jobs, you know, look how many industries these guys have created because of the work they did. Or Henry Ford, if you want to go back to them. So... First, you gotta say, like Brian Davis says, rich people are awesome. Rich people are some of the gener most generous people I've ever met if you can get in their circle and be respectful of them and not try to get something from them except their intelligence. 
Ask them to mentor you. Ask them to guide you. At, find one rich guy and say, look, I need one 30 minutes once a month with you. Now, I know I'll get a bunch of requests for that tonight, but 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 it's got to be something legitimate where you bring something to the table they they don't you know that they don't have and 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 money does not buy no matter how much money i have or you have or bob has bob still wants to help people you know what is the greatest gift there is on this planet helping people that is the greatest gift there is so if you have all the money and you don't have your health and you don't have love at home and you don't have kids that are happy and love being with you and, and, and you're scared every night and you got some kind of drug addiction or an alcoholic problem or you, you, you're dying of cancer, the money doesn't matter. doesn't matter. But if you can figure out how to get abundant in every area, and I'm telling you the one trick, the one trick is who are you spending your time with? Who do you listen to? What do you, what's going on in your head every day? What do you believe? What are the things you're saying or that your parents taught you or the school taught you that that um, you just bought into? You bought into it and you actually never ever looked at it and said, well, is that true or not true? You know? So there's a lot of dumb sayings out there. M money won't make you happy. That's a dumb saying. It's just stupid. It, it, it doesn't have anything to do with money. A guy's trying to get rich, he's not trying to be happy. And a guy trying to be happy is probably not trying to get rich. But the truth is, you should be trying to get happy and rich and have a million dollars in both accounts. I want a million dollar happy account and I want a million dollars in my bank account. And I want that until I have a million dollars in my happy account and a million dollars in my, in my bank account. Once I get a million and a million in both, then I want 10 million happy and 10 million. So rich plus happy equals wealth says pick for profit. You know, look, get yours. It's out there. You know it's available. You have to listen to people that are telling you this story that I'm telling you right now and that are giving you this kind of encouragement. And the last thing I want to say, and then I'll take some questions, is you got to get your family on the same page. And you have to exclude everyone on your Facebook page, your LinkedIn, that you work with. you got to get around people. You know, when people look at jobs, they're like, hey, what do you offer at your job? Dude, look at the environment. It's a bunch of positive people around me. Look, be, being around positive people is, is like a paycheck. It's like a paycheck. It's money in the bank. Being around negative people is like a Visa or MasterCard that's loaded. So listen to the people that are making moves. And I'm not just talking about listening to anybody. I'm talking about listen to people. Look at their surroundings. Look at their lifestyle. Look how they give their time. Are they good examples? You know? Maybe me and you don't agree on everything. But look, do we agree on nine out of ten things? And also, the other thing you want to do is you want to look at the people that you're going to get mentoring from. And you want to look at the people that surround them. Because I know some guys that would appear to be gurus. But if you look at the people around them, the people around them are broken and damaged and hurt and troubled. I could tell you two organizations right now that I know where people are mostly screwed up, um, but they're talking about how to get better. All right, I'm gonna open up this uh, with questions now, okay? Uh, let's see here, man. Really appreciate everybody at Meerkat. We've been mobbing the entire time I've been on Meerkat. Really, really love you guys at Meerkat. Appreciate you. How do you incorporate the gym into your life? Do you got to get it done first thing in the day? I think I think if there's something that I don't like to do, I'm doing it first. So I hope that helps. I'm gonna do it first. I'm gonna do. It's gonna be the first thing I do every day because if I don't do the the, the stuff I don't like first, it never gets done. Who do you offer those rich people like a broker on top real estate agent? How do you get to them? And you got to call them, man. You got to call them and you got to call them back and you got to call them again. And you got to call them again. Um, Vapor says, my hat's off to you, buddy, for making all that money. Good job, sir. I didn't really make any money, just so you guys know. I've never made any money. You know, I just went out and collected money from other people that had money. You blew me away with this one quote. My money can't flow to you if I don't know you. And dude, I can't. I can't. I'll never. I gave somebody money today. Okay. 
we went to the we went to the restaurant. We went to the movie. I parked my I parked my car and valeted my car at two different places. I gave those.